This is gorgeous. All good. All good. All right, here we go up onto the nut on the chairlift. And see all the way across Stanley Beach. There's a couple of people down there on the beach. Whoa! We've got a flat. Oh, no, we have to lose that tire. Lost a wheel. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This morning we drove over from Smith and we spent the night. We actually stayed in accommodation last night because it was a bit rainy and wet and we were a bit over being wet and camping. So we stayed there and then we've come over to Arthur River. And this is gorgeous. This is called the edge of the world and it's down at uh, Arthur River. And it's got a gorgeous view out over the ocean here and the river flowing out. Um, and you can actually see in the water over here the tannins that are coming out of the river. It's a darker spot and you've got the salt water coming in, the mixing. And there's these massive trees on the beach down here which I'm guessing get washed down the river. Gorgeous spot. This gravel road is going to come back to bite us a little bit later. That was an interesting sign. Caution wild bees stay clear of the lighthouse. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like 
Okay, here we are again behind the scenes. Uh, we're still on the west coast of Tassie. Had a nice stop uh, overnight in Smithton. And today we're just checking out a couple of little bits and pieces up the coast. Uh, we'll head up to Woolnoth to have a look what's there. Uh, we've been out to Edge of the World. You'll see some footage of that from the crew, which is great. And because we're behind the scenes, uh, and this happens, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, you know, we're, uh, we're prepared, we're organized. We uh, have got a leak in uh, one of the tires, so we've got a little puncture. We're gonna swap it out with a spare. How lucky do you have to be to be stuck across the road from a pub? Uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive stuff. These guys know how to do their business. And here we've got Glenn. Hello. He's setting up the camera. He's gonna be filming the whole exercise. Should be a lot of fun. I hope you can hear that. We just stopped to get coffee in Marawa, I think it is. Nice little town and a little general store over here. Over here. And then Clarissa got out of the car and said, what's that hissing noise? And that hissing noise is the air coming out of the tire. So Mick and I are gonna change the tire now. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? So we found the hole in the uh, tire. Where's the rock? Someone got the rock? Yes, I've got it. Just one okay. second, I'll go grab that. So we're just um, patching the tire up now so we can get back on the road. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this no. is bush mechanics. This is good. So the air's not coming With out now. Bone. The just put the band aid on it. Yep. All good. All good. All good. There we go. <laughs> Love it. We'll get on back on the car yeah, and we'll get back it, on the road. Yeah, yeah. Put it back on. Here's your rock. Hang on. And, and this is the rock that went into the top. And it just took Mick and I probably 10 minutes to get that out of the tire. It was pointy and in. Yep, like this. It's very sharp. And it was just here. So we'll put the spare on the car and um, we'll plug this when we uh, get This will be good. In the hotel tonight. Mm -hmm. Claire's pretty confident. <laughs> These must be some of the happiest cows in the world. I'd be happy if I was a cow and lived here. This is Cape Grim, or part of Cape Grim, and this is where Claire says the happiest cows in the world are. What do you reckon, Claire? Tell us about the cows. Happy cows. Eat more cows. Tasty, tasty happy cows. Tasty happy cows. Cape Grim all the way up. And Cape Grim is all the way up there, where you might or might not be able to see those windmills. That's Periwinkle Beach. And that's Periwinkle Beach over there. Very pretty little spot. The nut, which provides an amazing backdrop to the town of Stanley, is the remains of an ancient volcanic plug with a large, mostly flat top, hence its original name, Circular Head. There's a great deal of speculation about how it was renamed to the nut, but no clear answer. G'day, welcome to another short from behind the scenes of Where To Now. And where to now? Well, we're in Stanley which is a lovely little historical village on the northwest side of Tasmania. Behind me, you can see the village and right next to it is the nut. Well, I'm gonna let Glenn and Clarissa explain exactly what that means because I don't remember. They read it out to me, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, so it's a derivative from the traditional land, land owner's uh, name for the region. Uh, also historically significant because this is where they first connected Tasmania to the mainland for all of their cable communication. So this is the first place that a, a radio signal was received, a cable signal was received uh, from the rest of the world into Tasmania. So pretty exciting stuff. I know it's on edge of the seat kind of thrills there. Uh, anyway, it's absolutely stunning here. If you've never been, you need to get yourself to Stanley. Have a beer, stay at the pub, the red building in the background, uh, beautiful spot. 
and there's a bunch of old stuff here convicts old houses old buildings old people lots of things to do and just relax kick back and take in some of the great uh, foodie trails around here some of the history anyway I'll talk to you soon We're in Stanley. This is Stanley down here. And we're in the car park at the thing called The Nut, which is, if I turn around here, this big rock thing. And we're gonna go and take the cable car up to the top, and then we're thinking we're gonna walk down. We'll see how we feel when we get to the top anyway. Here we go up onto the nut on the chairlift. Here's Clarissa looking a bit concerned. It's good if it didn't swing. <laughs> no messing around, straight on. <laughs> Stanley down the back. We're going up. It's much better now, it's not swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere near as much. Is this better or worse than the, uh, the ship? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't answer me. No. <laughs> it's not windy at all. There Was you go. it good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. I'll turn around after we get to the top. Well, I'm supposed to be the one who's afraid of heights. It's the whole wobbling thing. Yeah. There's no chance it's hooking out, she's hit you down and away yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> ready? It's going to get bumpy. You ready? Yeah. Well, it's too bad. Oh, look at the view over there. It's stunning, isn't it? Now the wobbles are gone, it's much better. Especially this in winter time. Be cold. Okay, so we've made the trip, the tumultuous trip. All the way to the top of the chair lift. Over the Clarissa tip. has survived. Woohoo! See? And the chair stopped wobbling now, so yep. that's much better. And we're about to come into the top getting off thingy. Landing. What do we call it? The landing platform. The landing platform <laughs> thing. The top. <laughs> now, it doesn't appear to be anybody here to get us off. Platform immediately. Hmm. Right, so I guess it's just going to. Well, you lift it up yourself. Please don't take it off yet. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! What There's a net to catch you. I think it's to catch your variables. There someone here. Oh, there hello. you go. Hello. Yep. Ready? Up. And one each side. So I just step off to your side. Off and back behind the chair. How many times a day do you say that? Quite a few. We're up on top of the nut. Walked a small distance from the uh, chairlift. Chris has found one of the signs specifically targeted at kids. So uh, what's it say? It says, can you spot full rock? What do you think? It, why do you think it's called that? Oh, I'm guessing it's one of those islands out there. Pretty stunning view. And over there in the distance is a trig. Oh, that's exciting. I know, right? <laughs> And this is the walk along the top of the nut. We're going to have a wander over and check out that trig because trigs are exciting things. And all along this little walk, there's been these little skinks on the side. They're really amazing colours on them. And I'm yet to manage to actually capture one with the camera. So we're at the highest part of the nut, Glenn. How high do you think we are? Uh, I'd probably go for... Have a look 150 around. meters, Did maybe 143 go? meters. 143, pretty good. What a, guess. what a guess. Anyone would think I'd seen the sign there. Yeah. 
No. So you can't see it down there, but a second ago we saw a seal behind that big rock there. Looks like he's gone now. And this is the view down into Stanley, and right ahead of us there, the red buildings, is where we're staying. And if you look really carefully, you can see uh, Mick and Claire's car, Maggie, sitting there in the car park. We're doing the circuit walk around the top of the nut, and we come across this, across this which is actually quite lovely. It's a little picnic area here. You could have a cup of tea. You could, if you brought a cup of tea with you. You could. But we didn't. It's quite nice. Is it dark to breathe? Are you hungry yet? Now, pan melons are often hungry. Do you know what they eat? I'm going to put it out there and say these signs are stupid. They don't give answers to the kids. Well, it's different spelling for the paddy melons that you eat. I bet they don't eat paddy melons. I feel like someone's watching us. No. It's spooky, isn't it? This is a view back down to Stanley. You can see the uh, hotel down there, the big red building. I hope you can hear me. I've got the uh, wireless mic on, so hopefully that's helping. And you can see all the way across Stanley Beach. And there's a couple of people down there on the beach. And this looks around to where the fishing uh, trawlers come in. And right back over there, I assume towards Smithton. Pretty gorgeous view. And this side of the hill, it's blowing a gale. It was really quiet up on top. Anyway, the walk around the outside, we got the cable car up and we walked um, to the other side of the nut, straight up across the hill and then clockwise. And we think that's a better walk because going the other way involves walking up a great deal of stairs. A lot of stairs. That's just our tip to you. And now after all that, we've taken the cable car up and we're gonna walk back down the other side. <laughs> it's all zigzaggy, and that's because it's called, I'll just walk back up here a little bit, it's called Zigzag Track. So we're going to walk down. Probably doesn't do it justice, it never does on the, on the footage, but this is really actually quite a steep walk. Um, I'm glad we got the cable car up. That's the viewer up to the top and there's a view out of Stanley and this is the view down the hill to Clarissa. Clarissa had to stop and give her toes a rest. Behind the scenes of behind the scenes of behind the scenes on the side of the yep. road of where to now 4x4. Yeah, I don't think this one's going in one of our videos. What no. the hell? Yeah. So here we were just leaving Stanley. Thankfully it was a low speed zone and we hear a clunk and a and look out the window and off into the paddock behind us goes our wheel back left. <laughs> Through the fence over here. Through the fence. Sorry Mr. <laughs> or Mrs. Farmer. And far out Brussels sprout. That was a bit of a surprise. So we've bent two wheel studs, sort of. I've straightened them up and got the wheel back on. Eventually took two of the guys from the roadworks here come and helped us uh, with a big uh, crowbar. crowbar. So Thank you to the bikes down here. We really appreciate it. We couldn't get the bottle jack underneath the axle because it was too low. So they lifted it up with the uh, crowbar and then we put the bottle jack under it. And we 
hammered two of the wheel nuts to stud straight and got the wheel back on. Now we're waiting for the RMA guy to set up with some spare wheel studs, I think. Well, the and Victorian, the um, Tasmanian and RMA has... Whatever it is. Roadside, roadside assistance, assistance people. people. <laughs> They've been so helpful and so friendly. So, there you go. Oh my god. And thankfully we had a whole lot of spare parts to put the car back together, but it's not safe to drive at the moment. We'll go and have it looked at in Devonport. Come along on our adventure. Where to now? The repair shop. watch these guys drag this broken Jeep off the beach when we were camped near Sandy Cape a few days earlier. Story was it did a nosedive into a sand dune. Must have been an interesting drive to Devonport. G'day everyone it's Mick here. So we're on our last day, well second last day, we've got the boat trip tomorrow of behind the scenes and where to now. And it's been an absolutely smashing two weeks. Had a blast, drove some tracks, a whole bunch of things ticked off the bucket list. Uh, today was an interesting day. We had a bit of a, uh, a mishap with the truck. Uh, unfortunately, the wheel came off at speed, uh, which was a bit of a hair raising event. I don't know how they're still so calm about it. I'd be crapping myself to be perfectly honest. Uh, anyway. All sorted now. Uh, we had some great help from the local um, uh, local crew who were doing some road work. Shaw, shout out to Shaw. Good job. Thanks to those guys who came and helped us. Uh, thanks to Chris from the towing place who picked up the truck onto the flatbed. Oh no, not that. And uh, look, you know, like everything, Glenn and Clarissa, totally resilient, totally prepared. Uh, we just calmly work through the whole thing, which is what you do. It's why you're traveling convoy. You keep each other supported, you back each other up. And um, yeah, the worst thing that could have happened is we could have ended up in one of those Jeeps that were completely stuffed. Uh, guys run into a sand dune, wrecked it, uh, had a heap of trouble. But here we are, uh, about to head out to dinner and hopefully a couple of drinks, well earned, well deserved. And I will speak to you again, maybe one last time, while we're on the boat, heading back to Melbs, heading back to Sydney. And uh, yeah, had a great time. Fantastic. Absolutely loved it. Where to now? <laughs> well, this is it. It's the end of the adventure. We're uh, just boarded the Spirit of Tasmania 2. This is the sister ship of the one we came down on. And we're just waiting for the final cars to get boarded. And then we'll be underway again. It's been a fantastic trip. Last time we saw Devonport, we were just about to dock here at the terminal and it was a gorgeous evening. Plenty of history, plenty of nature, 
uh, and we travel some really, with some really good friends. So uh, thanks very much to the crew for their great job uh, getting us out here into Tassie. And we'll see you again somewhere else further down on the roads answering the question, where to now? See you later. <laughs> that was your Tassie trip, darling. <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> Certainly eventful. <laughs> <laughs>